Ladies and gentlemen, the academic procession is about to enter the hall. We will be singing the national anthem. The words are on page nine of the program. Please be upstanding for the academic procession and remain standing for the national anthem. I, David Hill, Deputy Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, do declare open this congregation convened for the purposes of presenting degrees. Distinguished guests, parents, relatives, friends, and especially our graduates, welcome to the University of Adelaide's graduation ceremony. We acknowledge the Ghana people past and present the original custodians of the land on which the university's campus is built. We acknowledge the Ghana people's ongoing spiritual connection to this beautiful land. Well, this graduation in itself is a sign that life is starting to return a little bit to normality here in South Australia and how grateful we are and long may that continue. And today is a very, very special day. It's a really happy day. It's an exciting day for all of you gathered here today. 
We're particularly well, uh, pleased to welcome all of you who are able to be with us physically today. But we also acknowledge and welcome those who are joining us online, and it is a very good thing that we are able to do that. Graduates, today is a very special day in your life. It's a day in which you can reflect on all the hard work and energy that you've put in towards your degrees. It's a day in which you can take great pride. And certainly for us, as the University of Adelaide, it is a very special day for us as well. As I said, it's a day that you can reflect on your past, what has led you to here, but also on the future. From this day forward, your life and career will take many different paths. But we hope that you are able to look back and reflect on the knowledge and the skills that you have developed at this great institution. And we hope that it will hold each of you in very good stead in your working lives. Well, it's my very great pleasure this morning to also introduce to you today's graduation orator, Mr. Peter Malinowskis. Peter has led the Labor Party in South Australia since April 2018. He is, in fact, a proud graduate of the University of Adelaide, having completed a Bachelor of Commerce here, after which he began his career at the Shop, Distribution and Retail Employees Association representing retail workers. In 2015, Peter entered the, the South Australian Parliament as a member of the Legislative Council and was then elected as the member of Croydon in the House of Assembly in 2018. You probably prefer me not to mention this, but he is a very passionate supporter and can often be seen supporting Port Adelaide, probably still a little bit in mourning, although they did have a very, very good season, I will say. But actually, and you'll see, because he's uh, still in trim, fit condition, he actually can also be seen running around himself playing a bit of footy for the beloved Adelaide University team, the Blacks. So we are very privileged today to hear Peter speak to us, and I'd ask that you would all make Peter very welcome. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, thank you very much um, to you, Deputy Chancellor, Mr Hill, for that kind introduction, I think. Uh, I do play for Adelaide Uni Blacks, and um, if there are any blackers in the room, of course, I should acknowledge uh, Bob Neill. Um, to Acting Provost, Mr John Williams, thank you very much for being here this morning. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, graduates, of course. Uh, I would like to acknowledge that we gather today on a very special occasion for all of you. Um, on the lands of the Kaurna people and pay my respects uh, to their elders past, present and emerging. Uh, the Aboriginal community does represent the long longest continuing living culture anywhere in the world. And we are, of course, very grateful for the opportunity to gather together today on their lands. Uh, initially, I'd just like to acknowledge those people that aren't in the room, and I'm principally talking about your family, friends and supporters. Uh, each and every one of us, uh, as human beings, uh, automatically depends upon the support of other people who are committed to your well-being in order to be able to achieve any success in life. And for your parents in particular, who may be watching online, but also other friends, family and supporters, I want to thank you for everything that you have contributed to allow these great young people uh, to enjoy this important occasion today. To you, the graduates, I'd like to pass on a sincere and wholehearted congratulations on this significant accomplishment. You are right to be proud in what you have achieved and being recognised here today. I know that it doesn't come without a lot of hard work and persistence and commitment. Uh, and that is particularly true in this year of all years. Uh, students across our state across our country and across our globe have been affected particularly harshly as a result of COVID-19. So for you to be able to finally uh, celebrate uh, your accomplishments is a good thing. And I think it's a moment you should savour. A moment you should savour. 
uh, in one particular context, which I, I would like to explain uh, to you. All of us, and I think the heartwarming rendition of the Australian National Anthem is a reminder of this, all of us are truly blessed and lucky to live in the greatest country in the world. Now, I know people throw those words around flippantly from time to time, particularly those of us in elected office, but it is indeed true. And I'd like to demonstrate this through an independent statistic, which I think we should all reflect on from time to time. Standard of living is measured in a number of different ways. People use GDP per capita as the go-to measure for the business students in the room. Uh, but the one that I like is the Human Development Index. Uh, it's measured by the United Nations on an annual basis. And the Human Development Index is a composite statistic that takes into account a whole range of different measures to formulate the standard of living rankings. It takes into account life expectancy, infant mortality rates, access to education, economic performance. And it comes up with this number and then it ranks every single country around the world. And back in 2012-13, do you know where we ranked out of every single country in the world, approximately 190 of them? Second. Second in the entire world. Here, 23 odd million of us in our island continent that we call home. Second in the entire world. I mean, that is an astonishing statistic. Now, I know people are worry, wondering, you know, what, what's number one? Well, it's Norway. And they don't win a crosscut at the Summer Olympics. And, um, and of course, it's cold most of the time. So we'd rather be here anyway. But isn't that amazing? Now, a lot of people do have different theses and views as to the reasons why, um, but it is my very firm view that is because here in this country we have a set of values that have guided us in our development of public policy along the way. Chief amongst them, an egalitarian ideal that believes in a society where everybody is looked after and we look after each other as much as we look after ourselves. In a policy sense, that's represented by always pursuing a balance between the interests of capital and labour. Now, uh, those numbers, of course, I said were, were back from 2013. Uh, the Human Development Index is also adjusted for income inequality. And back in 2013, that number again, we were number two in the entire world. But today, fast forward only uh, six years, because the 2019 number is out, uh, we're now ranked number 10 in the world. We've gone backwards by eight places in less than eight years. Which shows that we've actually got some work to do. We've got some thought that needs to be applied, particularly when you look at that number in the context of adjusting it for income inequality. Which leads me to you. Because not only do you live in the luckiest country in the world, but you represent the luckiest people in the luckiest country in the world. You have been given the golden ticket a high-quality education from a fine institution such as the one we are here in, in today. You represent the luckiest of the luckiest with boundless opportunity. And what I actively encourage you to do as you chart your course over your career is to regularly reflect upon the fact particularly on the dark moments and the moments of anxiety and when you're not too sure what you want to do, reflect on this moment, reflect on this occasion, that you are privileged, not unluckily, but through a lot of hard work, but you are privileged to have received an exceptional education that will put you in good stead to be able to compete in our global economy, to be able to compete uh, for a decent standard of living, uh, and that when you pursue that, don't just reflect on how lucky you are, but reflect on your opportunity to be able to give back to this country. I think that we have a solemn obligation, all of us as Australian citizens, but particularly those who have been fortunate enough to receive an education like we have in this place, to find every opportunity we can to not just think of ourselves, but also think of others. And think of a way that you can contribute to your society. Because if the people in this room 
aren't capable of leading, I'm not too sure who is. So take that opportunity. Utilise that opportunity. I understand it's business and law graduates in the room today. Presumably you approach your degrees with an enthusiasm for justice in the case of the law and for the spirit of entrepreneurship and what it can do to our economy if you're in business. Pursue those ideals, pursue those values, utilise the opportunity they have before you and I assure you that you have much satisfaction to come. Good luck, Godspeed and I wish you all the very best on your journey ahead. Thank you very much. On behalf of the graduates and their families attending today's event, I would like to thank Mr. Peter Malinowskis for his stimulating and inspiring address. We are honoured that you've taken the time to join us on this special day to share with us your thoughts and experiences. Your words of encouragement and advice are greatly appreciated. They remind us that education places upon each of us an enduring responsibility to make the best possible use of our talents and to contribute to the betterment of society in whatever way that may be. Please join me once again in thanking Mr. Peter Malinowskis. I will now receive the candidates for the degrees. I call on the Acting Provost. Deputy Chancellor, I, Professor John Williams, Acting Provost of the University of Adelaide, certify to you and to the whole university that the graduates you will be presented to you have fulfilled all the conditions prescribed for the admission to the award for which they are so presented. I, David Hill, Deputy Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, by virtue of the power committed to me by the university, confirm that each graduate is admitted to the rank and privileges of a holder of the award in the University of Adelaide for which they are so presented. I call on the Dean of Business from the Adelaide Business School, Professor Noel Lindsay, to present the graduates. Deputy Chancellor, I, Dean of Business from the Adelaide Business School, Professor Noel Lindsay, present to you graduates of the Adelaide Business School. Before we start, however, graduates, can I ask you to please stand uh, at your seat when your name is called? We'd like to try and get a, a photo of you uh, on, the, on the video stream there, if, if possible there. And could I ask you also to please hold your applause until after we finish uh, each degree there. So, to the professional certificate in defence industry leadership, we have Stephen Barnes, Antonio Fonseca, Catherine Joanne Grace, Michael Roger Harthus. Rory Johnstone, Kevin McCarthy, Paul John Pierce, Julie Ann Pisano, Vicky Romaldi, Joseph Anthony Romeo, Kate Russell. Portia Renee Alexandra Ryan. Andrew Robert Heath Williamson. And Scott Richard Willoughby. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, Kate Elizabeth McBride.
to the graduate certificate in wine business, Natasha Ann Killeen, Hilary Louisa Mitchell, and Ida Mossberg. <laughs> to the graduate certificate in self-managed superannuation funds, Li Xu Yap. To the Graduate Certificate in Innovation and Entrepreneurship, Lachlan John McInnes. <laughs> to the Graduate Certificate in Commerce, James Robert Bretchen Mumford and Benjamin Sulfay Yip. To the Graduate Certificate in Business Administration, Mariana Kaderin and Kwa Yu Fung. <laughs> to the Graduate Certificate in Applied Project Management, Talia Kalitz, Wendy Marie Gavin, and Branamir Topic. To the Graduate Diploma in Innovation and Entrepreneurship, Lauren Murray. <laughs> to the Graduate Diploma in Commerce, Alexander James Scottney Turbill. <laughs> to the Graduate Diploma in Applied Project Management, Anthony Kingsley Gonsalves. To the Graduate Diploma in Applied Finance, Charles Donald Galton, Hunk Young Jiong, and Yu Er Xu. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Wine Business, Dali Zhang Chen. Zhang Yu Chen, Chao Yi Huang, Go Chen Ji, Xu Dan Liao. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yi Fan Lu, Niu <laughs> Win Hu Ai. <laughs> Paul Smart, Hao Su, Ling Jing Wan, Min Yang, Pei Lan Ying, Yuan Yuan Jai, and Ji Sheng Jung. To the degree of Master of Professional Accounting, Eshan Niraj Bawa, Yishu Chai, Chur Yu Chen, Chi Hung Fang, Long Hin Fang, Chen Chen Gao, En Xiang Li. Bing Yu Li, Jing Yi Li, Xiao Li, Zhuo Yang Li, Jing Chao Lin, Bi Hung Liu, Xing Liu. Qian Wen Luo, Ning Xing Peng, Yi Ming Chu, Zhang Ming Chu, Fakaan Nisa Said, 
Gilhern, Di Peva, Santa Anna. Nicola Louise Smith. Xin Yu Er, Sun. Sir Chung Tan. Christine Wai Ching Sung. Jia Chen Wong. Chi Yan Wong. Swang Wang. Benjamin Westaway. Tian Hao Wu. Yang Shi. Meng Xiao. Da Lu Yang. Yang Yang Ya. Wen Ying Yun. Cheng Wei Jung. Cher Jung. Hai Wei Jung. Zheng Qi Jung. Chen Jung. Peng Zhao. Wang Jie Zhao. And Hao Xuan Jing. to the degree of Master of International Management, Jen Ma, Ramanathan Muthavir Appen, Wei Shi Tung, and Ying Ju. To the degree of Master of International Business, Tembi Keeley Jila, and Jack Alexander Prance. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Innovation and Entrepreneurship, Becky Quia Lopez, Dorothy Doi. Xu Ao Chi Kwok Gima Kilimanu Name Dino Charles Rossi and Chen Young <laughs> To the degree of Master of Finance and Business Economics, Sarah Alagatum. Anushkathi Kayan, Aramugam, Muthu Kuma Ravel. Long Bong Bui. Yu E Huang. And Tian Ji Liang. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Finance, Majip Hassan El Gomzi. Wang Kuang Vu Nguyen and Jing Tao Wu. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Marketing, Yung Chan, Jonathan Lewis Goldberg, Olivia Yuliano. Chuk Ting Ko. Yi Yong Lu. Hong Wen Ming. Chao Tung. Dan Yang Tu. Shi Min Wong. Wen Zhao Xu. Men Hung Young, Mu Chi Jung, and Da Rong Ju. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Commerce, Delon Aaron Lobo, 
Dylan. Her Shwing Tan and Nyok Ti Hong Chuong. To the degree of Master of Business Administration, Mani Ragava Se Krishna Bhagavana Tulu. Daniel Thomas Brinkworth. Charles David Burfield. Natalie Ann Byrne. Jessica Caston. Herbert Stephen Krashtevert. Penny Donato. Marie Rose Elu. Glenn James Erskine. Tobin Hannah. Eo Chuan Hu. Lloyd Eo Wan U. Ritish Kumar Kochu Kaval Arkaf. Nathan Lewis Creek. Jack Cheng Hung Lee. Ning Liu. Jason Warwick Loveday. Anthony James Matulik. Belinda Merton. Prabir Mitra. Stephen Oakley. Pang Zi Ong. Arnold Puriel Idikula. Michelle Reed. Harris Salim. Chad Mark Shearer. Song Mun Chung. Sarah Jane Sperling. Karen Joy Thomas. John William Thompson. Adam Trotman. Sol Jagal Sog Badrak. Benjamin Joseph Zamet. And Frank Zito. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Applied Project Management, Project Systems, Mathurada Buntid. Yuen Chai, Chong Rei Tui, Nikita Dander, FN U Wei, Emmanuel, Laksh Shima Nisanthi Ganabathi Raman, Shong Gao, Wei Shali Mohan Rayo Heidi Ka. Tanawan Kang Von Kit. Vahini Kota Pali. Chuang Li. Nali. Tian Fu Lu. Kang Lu. Xiao Ye Ma. Lei Wang Tian. Nagapatan Raja. Borapak Chuwani Cho. Wei Xing Yen. Chao Jung. Yi Han Jung. And Yuing Jung. To the degree of Master of Applied Project Management, Daniel Kenneth Bruins. Chao Ching Gao. Chao Bo Hun. Kevin Andrew Hill. 
jury come. Vaikun Kyo Chandi. Hanjan Lu. Carissa Catherine McLaren. Din Hung Nguyen. Osman Osman. Maharina Zed Sahim Sayim. <laughs> Ming Hao Song. <laughs> Yuing Peng Tu. Jing Wang. Chou Yang Wang. Zhe Yuan Wang. Darren Ashley Woodley. Jing Zhe Wu. Shu Ya. And Yu Tong Zhou. To the degree of Master of Applied Finance, Abu Danab Abi, Abu Daksu Kua. Lu Bai, James Matthew Kadzau. Xuan Tai, Meng Xu Chung, Yi Zhe Du. Alexandra Ferugia. Hai Wei Gu. Yu Jo Go. Mitchell Paul Hudson. Jing Ming Huang. Shi <laughs> Hung Huang. Yu Tong Huang. Hao Dong. Jia, Jing Hong, Zhang, Li Chao, Zhang, Yao Jing, Jing Ke Li, Jing Li, Xu Meng Li, Wen Bo Li. Yi Fao Li, Chen Lin, Hao Yan Lu, Feng Zhe Lu, Zhe Xuan Ma, Abdul Munum, Agnes Natisha, Wen Zhe Chu. Ray Shi, Song Nan, Sophia Song, Xing Lei Song, Chu Ink, sorry, Joshua Michael Chu Ink, Xie Qi Wang, Yi Bing Wang, Yu Xiao. Chen Shi Yang, Hang Tian Yang, Her Yang, Jia Lin Yang, Tian Shi Yang, Jia Jia Yao, Shi Yu Yer, Yi An Zhang. Bei Zheng, Qi Zheng, Chou Yi Zheng, Xie Zheng, Wei Qi Zheng, Xi Ting Zheng, Yi Ting Zheng, Chen Long Zhou, and Lan Ju. <laughs> to, 
to the degree of Master of Applied Innovation and Entrepreneurship, John Resty Balboa. Lisa Barnum and Joel John Paul Urugobaldarage Nadishka Daya Wansa. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Accounting and Marketing, Sugar Duan. Yo Wei Fan. Yu Kai Gao. Ya Ling Hun, Hu Meng Xiao, Hamid Saif Khan, Hao Ran Li, Tiao Yo Li, Yi Feng Ling, Jia Wen Liu. Sir Yin Ma Jing Yi Shu <laughs> Jia Tin Ying Lun Wang Vincent <laughs> Dai Wu Shu Kai Xing Ya Di Jiao your Joe and Sher Fei Zong. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Accounting and Finance, Fujian Ba. Heilong Bai. Sher sure, Yu Bo. Li Chum Chen. <laughs> Moxing Chen. Yi <laughs> Wei Dai. Shi Fa. Xiao Yi Feng. Shu <laughs> Ya Gong. <laughs> Fang Ming Go. Xiao Kong Go Yuing Shu He Yi Hang Hao Jiao Ling Hu Yi Yang Ho Xiao Hang Jia Hang Jing Zhang Jin Ling Li Tai Zhe Li Yang Li Yang Yang Li Fei Liang Hong Xiao Liu Lu Liu Yi Ning Liu Zhong Qi Luo Shi Yu Ma Jin Wing Ma Chaman Jitendra Meta <laughs> Clyde Bendonka Min Am Ta <laughs> Min Tam Nguyen Chen Nia Jin Chen Peng Xian Yi Su Tu Shi Tian Shi Yi Tong Xiao Lin Wong she ran Wong. Ebo Wong. Sir Yun Wong. 
Chu Ying Xiao Zhe Xiao Tian Yuan Xiong Li Yang Jing Jing Yang Xiao Jie Yang Ding Yao Yi Yu Yu Ting Yu Zhe Chen Yu Bao Sen Zhang Qi Zhang Fang Zhang Lin Li Zhang Wei Zhang Yi Zhe Zhang Yi Tian Zhang Jing Yang Zhang Hong Yao Chao Jia Yi Chao Lin Lin Zhao Xi Wen Chao Xu Hui Chao and Ying Zhou. To the degree of Master of Accounting, Rayan Abdullah S. Alamri, Musa Salam M. Al Kathriri, Zongming Tai, Zhuo Wei Chen, Ying Chen, Peng Shui. Jing Yang Dai Tian Xiang Fu RJ Nishikant Gai Quad Chen Qi Her Wen Jing Zhao Syed Ali Ishtiak Kazmi Sir Yuan Kerr Tan Vien Lamba Kong Li Wei Ran Li De Yu Liao T Nu Quin Nguyen Ray Yang Ong Shadi Pasan Didi Elvin Ramabwan Rodrigo Eugene Cyril Tong Chen Yi Tang Cheng Yi Wong Ge Ge Wu Wen Fei Shu Meng Wei Zhong Ker Xing Ju and Idrin Ju. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Philosophy for a thesis entitled The Bright Side of Belief Dispersion Within TMTs, Shi He Li. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy for a thesis entitled CEO Network in Finance, Dr. Emmanuel Joel Akins Abaka. <laughs> for a thesis entitled Essays on Economic and Behavioral Consequences of CSR Reporting Regulations, Dr. Abi Difata Ahmed Haji. (Applause) 
For a thesis entitled Determinants and Effect of Accounting Comparability, Insights from Mandatory IFRS-S Adoption in Australia and the EU, Dr. E. Lin Chua. For a thesis entitled, Coming to a Screen Near You, Investigating the Entrepreneurial Motivation, Failure and Resilience of Movie Producers in Producing Movies, Dr. Rajiv Kamaneni. <laughs> For a thesis entitled, Horticultural Farming and Development Outcomes, Examining Human and Social Capital Investment among horticultural households in rural Indonesia. Dr. Fasara Kamthara. <laughs> For a thesis entitled, Actor Engagement with Service Providers, Dr. Sim Ming Da Max. <laughs> For a thesis entitled, A Digital Transformation Governance Framework, for e-government, a systematic approach. Dr. Samantha Jane Papavasalu. <laughs> and for a thesis entitled, Fear of Failure and Entrepreneurial Intention Among Young Individuals, Dr. Minhajul Islam Ukul. Deputy Chancellor, this concludes the graduates from the Adelaide Business School. Deputy Chancellor, I, Dean of Law of the Adelaide Law School, Professor Melissa Deswart, present to you the graduates from the Adelaide Law School. To the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Hadia Abiyat, Arisha Ahmed, Joshua Aikens, also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Saja Al Wazan, Madeline Phoebe Alexander. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Bentley Lewis Anderson. Cameron Guy Andrews. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Corporate Finance, Hermione Kira Andrushenko. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, Nina Ash Clark. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Criminology, Norik Advertisian. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Chris Robin Backstrom. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies and the Diploma in Languages, Jacqueline Marie Ballard. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Environmental Policy and Management, Lauren Kate Baptiste. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts and the Diploma in Languages, Ebony Elana Isabella Bartholomews. <laughs> Daniel Wayne Bartlett. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce and the Diploma in Languages, Amelia Rose Bazado. <laughs> Samantha Jade Batt. Jesse William Beckinsale. Ekaterina Bekatova. Kacha Joanna Bignall Daly. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts and the Diploma in Languages, Jessica Emily Peters Black. 
Claudia Boccaccio. Nicole Danielle Bosman. Constance Pamela Boris. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Madison Sarah Briggs. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Courtney Ray Bristow. Lucy Isabel Burnett. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Development, Victoria May Buzzenshot. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences, Sunna Parili Butt. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Media, Sophie Alexandra Campbell. Alicia Cardoni. Holly Elizabeth Carter. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Lauren Rose Kasbara. Sukpal Singh Chahal. Lauren Kate Chapel. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Andy Chia. Madeline Coates. Morgan Ashley Collins. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Shannon Jane Collins. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Salvatore Condello. Laura Jane Coppola. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Kate Anna Corcoran. Elizabeth Ann Coulter. Ashley Jane Cullen. Susanna Sivjanovic. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Chloe Jane Danvers. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences, Amelia Johanna Davies. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Mitchell Darren Dettore. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Development, Eloise Dibden. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Jakovus De Genis. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Courtney Dinellon. James Duncan. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Michael John Zodzus. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Media, Chloe Marie Eisel. Natasha Amira El Shafai. Eamon El Hui. Serena Kate Ferguson. Katerina Fidikides. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, Corporate Finance, Nicholas Christian Garvis. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, International Business, Mitchell James Gillies. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Ethnia Adina Mira Gilseren Reed. Catherine Eliza Grant. Emily Louise Mannering Graves. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, 
Luis Enrico Guglietti. <laughs> Rowan Mark Gulliver. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Joseph Hasma. Joshua Michael Habib. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences, Arej Haitha. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, International Business, Georgia Hamoud Smith. Sarah Grace Hannell. May Harrington. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts and the Diploma in Languages, Thomas Patrick Haskell. Karen Kelsey Hawkes. Amani Jacqueline Heidenreich. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Sophie Kim Hilditch. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Social Sciences, Jessica Emily Houlihan. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, International Business, Adam Christopher Hurrigan. Sophie Alicia Simmons Howe. Beth Ashley Hubble. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Marketing and the Diploma in Languages, Nicholas St. Leger Hundenmark. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Fiona Huynh. Nathaniel James Inglis. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Marketing, Leslie Anushka Jarasuria. <laughs> Oliver Thomas Johnson. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Environmental Policy and Management, Chloe Imelda Jolly. <laughs> Daniela Jovanovic. Luca Kekers. Sasha Margaret Kelly. Deanna K. Kerr. Kirshlin Krishna. Jordan Paul Heaney. Maria Lagana. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Finance, Roman Lamb. Sophia Miriam Laparidis. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Corporate Finance, V. Bao Li. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts and the Diploma in Languages, Tyson Ann Lung. Ho Yin Li. Georgia. Levisianos. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Henry Christopher Lodge. James Ilias Lontos. Henry James Lumbers. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences, Janika Lee. Jared Alexander McDonald. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, Megan Mackey. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Media, Nicholas James McGraith. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Criminology, Stephanie Magush. Bridget Ellie Mason. Sean Bradley Matthews. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, 
and the Diploma in Languages, Monica K. Mazaki. Declan James Carver McCarran. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Michael Thomas McEwen. Christine Mary McMillan. Lachlan McNamara. Andre Jack McPherson. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Isabella Rose McRae. Pritika Menon. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Media, Simon John Moretta. Christopher James Moriarty. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Jacinta Mu. Also receiving the degree of si Bachelor of Science and the Diploma in Instrumental Music, Nicholas James Munday. <laughs> Sylvie Muthoni Musaki. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Yui Dang Nguyen. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Psychological Sciences, Huyn Nu Nguyen. <coughs> Joel Edgar Vivian Niles. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Corporate Finance, Arvin Nitchingham. Jacob Charles Noble. Justin Trent Noble. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Economics Advanced, Claire Judith Nolan. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Marketing, Thomas Patrick Noon. Alice Kathleen O'Connell. Laura Offey. Max William Ori. Sinead Kelly O'Shaughnessy. Anne Sung Moran O'Sullivan. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Ezeljan Ozturk. Samuel John Penniment. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Media, Sophie Louise Perkins. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Marketing, Lucy Claire Pittman. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Marketing, Madeline Mary Porter. Julie Ann Preka. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, and the Diploma in Languages, Apurva Raj. <clears throat> Oliver Douglas Rodan. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Francis Adelaide Raynham. Molly Della Richardson. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Corporate Finance, Laura Rigmani. George Robertson. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Media, Alexandra Ross. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Computer Science, Cindy Ruan. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Health Sciences, Paul Russo. Sahara Dixie Sachs. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Angus Michael Santos Stefano. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Media, Elliot Winton Saar. <laughs> Olivia Madison Savas Koopmans. 
Cosette Rachel Schilling, Thomas James Schumacher, Ben Shen, Simon Jock Ajak Jock, Nikita Suzev, Claire Elise Slade. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Science, Eleanor Mary Brett Small. Nathan James Smart. Olivia Marie Sprod. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Jesse Joel Stephenson Bloomfield. Also re receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Corporate Finance, Elise Jane Stevenson. Benjamin Stocks. Samuel C. Stephen Sunter. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Social Sciences, Raina Simmons. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Henry Edward Elwood Simons. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, Terry Michael Theodoru. Mary Rose Thomas. Madison Ellen Thompson. Evangelist Toscus. Miranda Jane Traeger. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Marketing, Tina Latran. Sophie Rose Tracy, also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Ryan Daniel Trelaw. Isabella Lily Trigatti, Hannah Elise Savata, Savala, sorry. Lauren Joyce Turner, Charlotte Isabel Valencic, Sophia Inez Valero, Vanessa Vavaris, Trinity Venkatesan, also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce, Jayat Vidinaj, Sufwan Barakazi Wahabzada. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Galima Wahidi. Christopher Michael Walker. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Jasmine Lee Wesbrook. Ashley Renee Wells. Genevieve Siobhan Williams. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Media, Joanna Claire Williamson. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Kue San Wong. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Marketing, Annalise Brittany Claire Wood. Abby Louise Wright. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Xing Ying. Hongmi Yun. Monica Andrea Zanketa. And also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Economics Advanced, Emma Claire Zeitz. the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies and the Diploma in Languages, Ethan Kale Beringen. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies and the Diploma in Languages, Courtney Ann Birrell. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies and the Diploma in Languages, Annabelle Bridgeland. Hilary Claire D'Angelo. 
also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Jason Craig Fopp. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Management, Astrid Helene Gillum. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Corporate Finance, Charles John Limbert Hall. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Olivia Sarah J. Alison Louise Jones. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Commerce Corporate Finance, Erin Minnie Mack. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Isabel Grace Micken. Frankie Madeline Murphy. Holly Olivia Lynch Nichols. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Science, Olga Christine Pandos. Raymond Philip Joseph Radice. Jacqueline Grace Raymond. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Madeline Saar. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Ellen Grace Schultz. Jo Jack Oscar Simpson. Amos Clarkson Washington. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Social Sciences, Early Rose Waterman and Henry Yin Chen. <laughs> to the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Laws, also receiving the degree of Bachelor of International Studies, Christian Nardi Andriotti. Mitchell James Brunker. Eleanor Grace Nolan. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Media, Jade Marie Porter. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Economics Advanced, Timothy Samuel Porter. <clears throat> Vincent Rocker. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Arts, India Danielle Short. Jasmine Olivia Tran. Kate Rhiannon Walsh. And Noel Williams. To the Graduate Certificate in Business Law, Jyoti Jagpal. <clears throat> to the Graduate Diploma in Legal Practice, Samantha Bennett. Also receiving the degrees of Bachelor of Laws and Bachelor of Arts, Jack Anthony Davis. Also receiving the degrees of Bachelor of Laws and Bachelor of Arts, Annabelle Douglas. Veronica Gadzanova. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Kyle Anthony Goldsworthy. Shannon Kate Guerin. Bethany Jane Harvey, Julia Gay Hayden, Mark William Holland, Holly Tabitha Latham. Also receiving the degrees of Bachelor of Laws with Honours and Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Taylor James Laverty. Andrew Philip Lowe. Tabitha Ann McKenzie, Leighton McDonald Stewart, also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Ferguson William Hugh McFarlane. 
Quentin James Maloney. Also receiving the degrees of Bachelor of Laws and Bachelor of Commerce Corporate Finance, Portia Niarchos. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Mario Pagoli. Nathan John Ramos. Silvana Roca Santos. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Darren Seat. Haroon Rashid Sekmani. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Rowan James Selva Nayagan. Jason Paul Tillett. Nicole Warren Wedding. Also receiving the degree of Bachelor of Laws, Chloe Catherine Welling. And Madeline Yvette Zed. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Laws, Takahiro Abe and Shivani Rajendran. To the degree of Master of Business Law, Min Trang Nguyen. <laughs> to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled Post-Human Legal Subjectivity in the Anthropocene, Introducing the Cosmic Person, Dr. Jana Norman. For a thesis entitled Pathways for Conscious Protection in Law, German, American and Australian Perspectives, Dr. Patrick Thomas Quirk. <laughs> Deputy Chancellor, this concludes the graduates from the Adelaide Law School and for this event. Deputy Chancellor, every year the university presents university medals to acknowledge the most outstanding graduates in each faculty who have completed a University of Adelaide bachelor's degree with honours or a bachelor's degree with at least four years duration. The university medals are awarded to them for their consistent, outstanding performance across the whole of their undergraduate degree studies. I, Professor John Williams, Acting Provost of the University of Adelaide, present to you a recipient of the 2019 University Medal from the Adelaide Law School, Timothy Samuel Porter. It's now my pleasure to introduce you to you, Leslie Anushka Jayasaria, um, who just a little while ago was presented with his Bachelor of Laws degree. So Leslie will now give to us a valedictory address on behalf of all the graduates gathered here. Thanks, Leslie. Thank you, Deputy Chancellor, and a warm welcome to friends and family, both near and afar, honored guests, and to everyone in the graduating cohort of 2020. This graduation commemorates the end of a chapter and presents the perfect opportunity to reflect on our time at this university. In doing so, it may be tempting to fall into the trap of focusing only on the academics, the list of subjects, and numbers on that piece of paper. But the reality is that all of us will be leaving here today with so much more, priceless memories and lessons that we will carry with us into the next chapter of our lives. From every small group discovery experience, we learned the true meaning of patience and resilience 
as that one group member conveniently disappeared the day before the presentation. From every capture mic box thrown in our direction, we learned to be agile and to dodge away from our problems and responsibilities. From every exchange study experience, we learned how institutions in all parts of the world approach problems and the innovative ways to solve them. But we also learned how quickly we lose friends when we mention our exchange every five seconds. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I feel so grateful to have been a student here at the Adelaide Law School. It is incredible to see our law school at the forefront of reforms to key social issues such as abortion laws and the abolition of the gay panic defense. Yet these law school staff contributing to the crucial social changes are the very same ones making time to settle our nerves the week before exams and providing us with the supports we need. I know that I owe a personal thanks to so many people at the law school, such as Corinne Walding, Kelly Toole, David Plater, Megan Taves, and Cornelia Cock for all their wise words and guidance that helped me to survive this university journey. And of course, there's a lot of thanks owed to the groups of friends that will listen to our rants and make time to cry with us in the dungeons of the Law Library. For me, I had the best teammates that I could have ever imagined in Maddie and Apurva, who incited my love for advocacy, Gaeta, who constantly provided support and wisdom, my longest childhood friends, Panitha, Lizzie, Prasanna, and Mandy, who are always there to pick me up at the worst of times and to celebrate the best of times. And of course, I would not have made it here today if not for Tina Tran. Thank you for honestly keeping me sane and constantly inspiring me over these past five and a half years through all the bad group projects, the competitions, and late night revision sessions. You're one of the kindest and smartest people that I know, and I'm so excited to see all the positive changes that I have no doubt you will bring to whatever you choose to do. And lastly, behind every graduate sitting here, there are also our families, the ones that have been shaping us into the people that we are today. It is important to recognize the ones that have been keeping us grounded, reminding us of the simple yet fundamental things, such as when to eat and when to sleep. I am very grateful for my brother, Ashley, for encouraging me to stand up for the things that I believe in, my dad, for teaching me to be patient and diplomatic, and my mom, for showing me how to be resilient and teaching me that the connections you build and the little acts of, of kindness you impart on others are the most important things in life. This is honestly so much more your achievement than it is mine. There have been many positive changes in the legal field that we can rejoice. We have legalized marriage equality, appointed the first female chief justice in our high court, and the first female attorney general in our state. We have passed laws uh, protecting people from situations of domestic violence, reformed surrogacy arrangements, and provided critical supports to victims of crime. Although we have much to be proud of, it is fundamentally important to not disregard the areas where we must do so much better. The recently revealed incidences of sexual harassment from not only a judge in our highest court, but a former vice chancellor from our very own university exhibit this. The low levels of representation of diverse cultural backgrounds and minority groups in positions of seniority in this field showcase this. And the bare levels of support in place for persons living with disabilities and persons living with mental health conditions highlight this. These examples all serve as a good reminder that although we have made strides in the right direction, we still have much work to do. And the words we, it's not without purpose. As graduates entering into this profession, we are all responsible for guiding the di direction that it takes. And that means standing up against these far too common injustices for so many of our peers in this profession. Complacency will only breed further displacency from those of us who do not benefit from the privileges that any one of us possesses. I know that this may seem at times like an enormous task, especially in a field that is built on such long-standing tradition and resistance to change. However, when I reflect on what is the most important thing that I will take away from my time at this university, it's an appreciation for the strength behind the sense of community. I still distinctly recall attending my very first law seminar, entering into a sea of RM Williams, Mac laptops, and Ralph Polos, and thinking, wow, I will never fit into this place. 
But as I started to meet more and more people over my time at this university, I started to realize that we were all unique in our own individual ways, with our differing ideas and beliefs, approaches to problems, and dreams for the future. Yet despite these differences, there was always the sense of camaraderie, of community, because the glue that binds us to its helping one another in times of need is so much stronger than any of the differences that may serve to divide. I realized that there was no one way to be a law student, and likewise, there is no one path that we have to follow when we leave here today. We get to forge our own paths and to define for each and every one of us what it means to be a law graduate. And if you ever face a challenge where it becomes difficult to stand up for what you believe in, just know that you have this community of peers, friends, family, right there beside you, supporting you every step of the way. To all my fellow graduates of 2020, I wish you the biggest of congratulations. We made it. Thank you. Graduates, Leslie, thank you. That was a very powerful, uh, very courageous speech, and I really endorse everything you had to say. Very well said. It now gives me very great pleasure to congratulate all of you on this remarkable achievement. This is your day. It's a very special day. It's a very happy day of fulfilling hopes and dreams. Be proud of what you have achieved. And as Peter said, Remember those who have supported you to get where you are today. I wish each of you every success in your career and, most importantly, your life. As graduates of the University of Adelaide, you join an alumni right across the world. More than 147,000 alumni in over 135 countries around the world. You are, in many respects, ambassadors of this university. And as Leslie said, live with integrity. Be true to yourself and live to your morals, ethics and values. I would also like to take this opportunity today to thank everyone who made this a very special day. To our mace bearers, to again Leslie, our valedictorian, and to Peter, who kindly presented our oration today but also to all of those who assisted in organising today and making it possible. It really is fantastic to be able to enjoy a graduation here for many of you in person, and we should not at all take that for granted. So with that, I'd ask all of you as graduates to remain seated. I'd ask the stage party to stand with me and to congratulate you all again once more. Well, would the graduates now stand for the academic recession? Once the academic recession has left, if you could just remain at your seats and the COVID marshals will uh, arrange an orderly exit of all of us. So I now declare this congregation adjourned. Thank you.
Thank you, everyone. We hope that you enjoyed your event today. Please remain standing at your allocated seats. Our COVID marshals will direct you to exit one row at a time, so just please wait until your row is prompted. Now, if you missed out on your stage photo before this event, so if you were lining up and missed out, or if you came in too late, please just take your seat again now, because GFP are about to recommence the photos. However, if you did have your photo taken, or if you no longer want your photo, please remain standing and you'll be directed in a moment. Once you're outside the hall today, please adhere to social distancing practices and follow the direction of COVID marshals. Stage photo purchases and studio photos and academic dress returns are going to be in the Eclipse Room on level four of Union House. If you would like to take any photos outside Benython Hall, please just line up as indicated by the white picket fencing um, and just ensure that you remain 1.5 metres from others. Thank you and congratulations.